Hello everyone, welcome to the second chapter, Solutions of uh, Chemistry in 3012 standard. In this uh, session, we will see solution, what are they made up of, we will see types of solution, and also we will see how to express the concentration of solution. Let's continue with the chapter. Now, here, solution are actually homogeneous mixtures of two or more than two component. Okay. Now the word homogeneous mixture means that the composition and the property are uniform throughout the mixture. Okay. So the component which is present in the largest quantity is known as solvent and solvent is the one which determines the physical state in which the solution exists and one or more components which are present inside the solution which are other than the solvent. So these are the one which are present in less quantity are known as solute. Now in this chapter, we will actually limit our study only to binary solution. Binary solution meaning we have only two components. We'll have one solvent and one solute. Now types of solution. So basically if you see we have gaseous solution, liquid solution and solid solution. The meaning of gaseous solution because uh, we have solvent as gas. So as I told you in the previous side here that solvent is the one which determines the physical state in which the solution exists. That means if your solvent is gas, you have gaseous solution. If your solvent is liquid, you have liquid solution. You have solid as solvent, you have solid solution. Now, let's see if you have solute gas inside a gas, that's a mixture of oxygen and nitrogen. It's our atmosphere. Liquid inside a gas that is chloroform mixed with nitrogen. Solid inside a gas that is camphor in nitrogen gas. Gas inside liquid, oxygen dissolved in water. This is the reason why aquatic life is able to survive inside water. Okay, because there is some amount of oxygen which is dissolved in water. Liquid inside a liquid, ethanol, okay, that's an alcohol which is consumable. It is dissolved in water. So you hard drinks or hard alcohols are being consumed with water or soda. So it's kind of perfect mixture. Then solid inside liquid example is glucose. If you when we were kids, glucose or glucon D was one of the drink that was coming in powder form and we were actually mixing it in a glass of water and we were consuming it. Next is solid solution. So here you see gases might be present inside solid. Example is hydrogen may be present inside palladium. Then liquid inside solid amalgam of mercury with so, uh, sodium is an example. Then solid inside solid example is copper dissolved in gold. Now these are the types of the solution. Okay, so you can see solute and solvent all are different. Now how to measure the concentration of all this? Like what is the concentration? So for the part of concentration, we can express in a various amount of unit. Yeah, first and foremost unit is mass percentage. Mass percentage is basically mass of the component in the solution divided by total mass of the solution. In 200 gives you the percentage mass component. The same way you have we have volume percentage. Volume percentage is volume of the component divided by total volume of the solution. Multiplied with 100 gives you the volume percentage of the component. Okay. Same way we have mass by volume percentage. So this is actually this unit is used in medicine and pharmacy. So you check the backside of any capsule or tablet, like how much amount of mass of solute is dissolved in 100 ml of solution. Just to give you an example. So you have milligrams or let's say grams in 100 ml of solution. So it depends on units, but usually it is mass divided by volume. So you weight or mass by volume as the unit. Next is parts per million it is ppm so whenever the solute particle is present in trace quantity trace quantity means very very small quantity so we use ppm for such trace quantity so what is ppm actually it is number of parts of the component component divided by total number of parts of all the component of the solution into 10 raised to power 6 basically the idea is how many number of components are present in 1 million. Okay. Next is a uh, mole fraction. Fraction is very, very important. So mole fraction is actually divided by such numbers. Let's say XA. 
so here x is representing your mole fraction of a component okay so mole fraction of any component is actually number of moles of that component divided by total number of moles of all the components present inside for example let's take a binary mixture binary mixture means we have two components let's say that a and b are two components number of moles of a is represented by na and number of moles of b is represented by nb okay so mole fraction of a will be number of moles of a divided by total number of moles so that is number of moles of a plus number of moles of now one more important thing that you all can focus on is in any given solution the sum of all the mole fractions is going to be equals to 1 okay it is always going to be equals to unity that is 1 if let's say you have i component so x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus dot 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 till xi get the value equals to 1 for example here in binary solution in binary mixture we saw that we have mole fraction x a Similarly, you can calculate the value of XB. XB will be equals to NB upon NA plus NB. If you add XA plus XB, obviously you will get the value as 1. Next is molarity. Molarity is uh, capital M. It is denoted by the letter capital M. And it is number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter of solution. Please note solute by solution moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter now here it is interesting to note that mass percentage ppm mole fraction molality are independent of temperature whereas molarity here depends on temperature the reason is this is here it depends on the volume of solution now we know that volume is not constant as you increase the temperature volume increases so Therefore, we can say that molarity is a function of temperature. So, very, very important quantity that is moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liters. Solution, underline this part, solution. Why I, I am focusing on this part? Because the next unit is molality. Okay? So, molality is denoted by small m. It is number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. Here it is number of moles of solute by mass of solvent in kilogram. Okay, so here it is solvent whereas in case of molarity it was the entire solution. Remember that solution is made up of solute and solvent whereas here it is solute divided by solvent. These are all the various uh, concentration uh, values or let's say units of concentration that can be used to express the amount of solute present inside the solvent. So that's all in this part. Thanks a lot guys.